this is the area in my landscape that I'm trying to fill up with elegance. There's still quite a few gaps as you can see and the filling up is going to happen really slow at this rate. So I want to help it along and for that I'm going to use the elegance that I got from the swap. But before I do that, I'll have to point out to you first that the soil here hasn't been top dressed. So it, it is being eroded every time I water the area. As a result, sometimes, well, some of the layers, maybe the top layer might be, might seem a bit compact and hard and dry. But I have no choice. Such, such is what happens when you don't top dress the soil and the whole thing is at a slope. But in any case, since I'm going to add a few more elegance now, I would need to cultivate the soil a bit. Maybe even top up a few more, few more layers of soil. And then just stick the elegance in. That's what I'm going to do next. So most of these guys already have their own roots, but for the purposes of landscaping, their stems are quite long. So I'm going to trim them and set them in the soil. And according to the forecast, uh, there's no chance of rain. Well, there's low chance of rain for the next few days. It's going to be quite warm. So I guess it would be safe to do so. I mean, to just stick them in the ground because they won't be getting too wet anytime soon. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cultivate the soil, add some top up with some of this soil mix here, then stick them, stick them in. Also, as I have mentioned earlier, uh, the, the stems of some of them are quite long and they, it would be hard to work with, with these in the landscape. So what I'm going to do is to use my secateurs tours to chop off the stem. So in this case, I'm going to cut all the way. Maybe just leave, leave a few, maybe half uh, an inch. Yeah, a centimeter here so there so it's just going to be a stub I'm going to do the same with the rest of them except yeah even this one so I'm just going to cut here keeping it really short so it would be a lot easier to work with them this one it's quite etiolated and it has a long stem I'm not sure what I want to do with this I could remove some of the leaves yeah some of the leaves in the center and cut chop off from there yeah that's what I'm going to do some of the leaves are falling off anyway there and using my second tours I'm going to cut here so I've got a compact stub here and the body is there since I beheaded the body some pups would be growing out of them in a week or so I guess lastly there's this one Yeah, I think I'm still going to chop this off. It's, it's, uh, it's a lot easier working with stubs rather than long stems. So as I always do with my landscapes, before I plant them, I do a bit of staging. And by that, I mean just putting them in place. Just see how they work. Maybe this one would go there there's this the etiolated one could go maybe here somewhere here 
Would that be alright? Or no? Maybe here, right next to the one that I just placed. So there's two more to go. Maybe the medium one could go here. And the smaller one somewhere there. So they are mostly right. I think the small one should be here. So there's a lack in this area. Yeah. I think I'm okay with this. So now that I've decided where they're going to go, I'm just going to top up the soil. So I'm going to work in reverse. I'm starting with this part. As you can see, it's a bit sandy and maybe a bit compact. So what I'm going to do is to cultivate it using my spade. So I'll just dig around, you know, just make the whole thing loose. Well, this seems loose enough. Oh, and I got to remove some weeds. So as I said, I'm going to top up. Add a bit more soil and just stick in stick it right there i'm going to do the same for this one just loosen the soil looks like the soil is still quite loose but they're starting to get compacted this is mainly because of the, the watering that I've been doing recently. But anyway, second one goes here. Now, this two, maybe I could move it here. And this one go there, underneath the Mauna Loa. Yeah, that could work. So I'm going to loosen this part first. The soil is pretty loose, only the, the top layer is a bit compacted or hard because of all the sand. Okay, so I'm going to get some soil, I'll just use this cup. One more cup. There. So this one goes here. Just stick them in. There. And I'm done placing them in. While doing the elegance the other side, I noticed that this one has been uprooted most likely because of all the winds that we're getting so I'm going to loosen the soil stick it in and get a bit more soil to top up the poor thing has been exposed to the Sun for quite a while maybe a day for a couple of days anything else yep looks like it was just it the pups on this one are getting large but I don't think they're large enough to be separated so I'll keep them there for now it looks like it's still going to be quite a while before I get to fill, completely fill up the arc with, with elegance. But a lot of them are popping or producing pops. So hopefully within summer or by autumn, I will have enough material to cover, to cover the rest of the gaps. Don't forget. I also chopped off some elegance 
So what I'm going to do is to make some space here for the stump. And I'll just leave the leaves here. If they grow, fine. If not, I don't care. Because I've got lots of them. Just to show that I have lots of elegance on the way, these are my leaf propagations from last winter. And they're starting to grow. Other than the elegance, I also noticed that this black prince was getting all wrinkly. And the reason is quite obvious once you look at, look at it closer. It's getting uprooted. I'm guessing because of the winds, but maybe also of, due to the erosion here. I'm going to repair this area. Maybe I, I should pull it out first. Yeah, poor guy. So I'm going to clean it up a bit. Remove some of the dead leaves from underneath. This is a double header if you can see. Two heads. Now I'm going to prepare where I'm going to plant it. So same spot. But maybe just more vertical. Because previously it was tilted. Maybe I should add some stones. No, I'll just add more soil. Yeah, this is too much. Maybe a bit more soil on the other side. There. That should do it. It's getting pretty close. The big one though. Yeah, I'll leave it here for a while. So it could... Yeah, I'm going to leave it here for a while. Unless I need to rework this part. Oh. This one seems to be uprooted as well. So let's deal with this. Just going to make... A deeper hole this time. Do I need to top up? Yes, looks like it. Add more soil around it. That's better. I also noticed that there's a bit of erosion around my Lawi. Here. So maybe I should add a few more stones, a few more rocks. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. But the sea dooms are already holding. Sorry guys, I'll have to pull you up again.
So what I'm going to do is to place place a rock just to serve as a, a dam and fill it up with soil. Yeah, my designs and engineering aren't always perfect, but I make sure I fix them. Yeah, that should stop further erosion. And look at my lawi. It's trying to put out a flower stalk. And good thing here is the flower stalk has some of those large leaves. So I would be able to propagate from those once the stalk gets longer. Another thing I want to do is to get rid of the dried out flower stalks because as you can see the flower stalks are messy man although I'm still hoping to be able to uh, gather some seeds but some of them are already past their prime so I'll remove those which I have to remove I'm just looking for a space where I can easily get to it. Uh, it's hard. So maybe I'll just cut wherever I can. Yeah. Here's one from the big red. I see another one on the black prints here. Just cut it here. Cut it wherever. Are there others? There's one on the elegance here. Yeah, it looks ones looks like this ones are spent. All of them are spent. So I'll remove all of the flower stalks. How about the others? No, so far it's just this one. Oh, and this one. Remove yours as well. Yep. It's just like giving them a haircut. Anything else? Yeah. The rest of them still have fresh flowers and I don't want to waste those. I guess I have to leave them for now. I see some dry flowers on this Pachyveria powder puff, so I'm going to remove it. And there's one here, Superbum. This one as well. Another superboom. Yep, got them all. There are also some dry flower stalks in this neglect area. So, like this Pulvinata frosty. This Clavifolia. Maybe I'll just remove all of them. What else? This one. This has been going on for a while. I'll just remove the flower stalk. This is a uh, fasciculata. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. Or 
or was this the Catella? Right, this is the Catella. I think I got them all. I'll leave it at that. I think this early right is spent and besides I already got some flowers from it so off with the stalk wow it's a big one I'm also thinking I could remove the flower stalk on this Zoro because I already harvested some flowers besides it's bothering this Etna so off with the stalk there another huge stalk 